my beautiful people of God, how are you all doing today? I believe everyone is enjoying God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God Almighty will reward you. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, you are welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please endeavor to support his sister by subscribing to this channel and turning on the bell for more notifications. Hallelujah. In today's video, I want to share with you the message that Pastor W.F. Kumuyi of Deeper Life Bible Church preached recently. And during the course of that message, he said something that is very important. And that is that the people, the congregation, the members of Deeper Life Bible Church, especially the youth, the young adults, they should stop attaching to his name all kinds of titles. He said, for instance, some of you has beginning to call me, I'm quoting him right now, bigger daddy, biggest daddy, and all that. He said, that is not acceptable. That everyone should stop. And when you, the moderator, has come to bring him to the podium, you should stop attaching the convener of this, the convener of that. I want you to hear him. Me, I am in agreement with what he said. And the reason is this. You see, if we don't take care, if we don't take heed, pride will set in when we are doing well. When people begin to give us praises and, you know, begin to elogize us. That is natural. And every good child of God should watch him or herself, guide him or herself against this kind of thing. Because when you are performing well, doing good things, and people are watching you, the tendency is there that they begin to give you honor that is due to God. They begin to worship you as though you are God. It is only natural. But for you that they are doing that, too, I think the right thing for you to do is politely, is to politely address the people Please, this is the way I want it. If you want to address me, address me in this form. I'm okay with that. And I think that is what this pastor, W.F. Komuye, has done here. He told them that, look, that bigger daddy, biggest daddy, and all that should stop. I am the pastor of Deeper Life Bible Church. I am a preacher of the word, a teacher of the word. And I'm the general superintendent of Deeper Life Bible Church. That does not make me bigger and biggest of any kind. And that is why he is telling them in this Bible study that please, that should stop. And I am in agreement with him. Because these days, the way and manner our new generational pastors are taking the glory of God to themselves is alarming. And that is why the church of God has become a caricature right now. Because you do not see the God of the church anymore. Mm -mm. It is now the men of the church that you see. Because you will see the people giving them all manner of titles that they themselves, they are putting upon themselves all manner of titles, you know, to feel big, to feel, I don't know what I will call it, but for me, that is not proper as a child of God because if you continue like that, before you know it, pride will set in. And when pride is set in, what he does is that he begins to share the glory of God. And that is very, very dangerous to do. So for me, I think he is right here. And this is what every child of God should watch against. The praise of men. It is very important. And that is what this Baba, Baba Kumuyi, is doing here. Trying to call the attention of the people that look, the convener of this, convener of that, attaching to my name is not necessary. Just announce me as the teacher of the word for the day, and that's okay. So, for you that do not understand what he's saying, that he's criticizing, why must he say that? After all, he's an elderly man, and he doesn't want to grow old, he doesn't want them to call him daddy, my dear. What he meant is that he doesn't want anybody to bring him eh, 
to collide with God in any form or manner in the name of we are giving him respect and giving him honor. Say, leave me the way I am. Don't attach any other thing to my name. I am a teacher of the word. I am a preacher and a pastor. And that is okay. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it so that it will reach everyone. And God Almighty will bless you. Remain blessed. God, I come with vision and dream and all that and prophecy. They are prophesying about what will happen next month in our country. They are prophesying about what will happen in March and what will happen in May. And everybody, they are running after them. They say, ah, that man has not spoken. And then the pastor of Deeper Life, uh, to start with, um, I don't uh, want you to continue calling me. You know, we're in Bible study and they're calling convener of GCK. I am the general superintendent of deeper life. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, convener, convener, convener. I teach the word. Crusade is good. Evangelism, that's good. That's part of my calling. Evangelism. But when we divert everybody's attention to convener of GCK, teacher of deeper life, and the pastor of deeper life Bible church, that's who I am. Am I right? Uh -huh. So, let's uh, <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Let our moderator stop all that convener, convener. And if you come here to make any announcement, convener, ah, that's that's enough. That's enough. The teacher, the pastor, the preacher of deep life Bible church. And then our young people, let me do everything at the same time. Biggest daddy, sugar daddy. Let's stop all that. Let's stop the biggest daddy, biggest daddy. Yeah, that means there's a biggest daddy, there's a bigger daddy, there's a big daddy, there's a small. Uh -uh. Now let's stop all that. The pastor, I'm your pastor, I'm your father in the Lord. That, that's scriptural, that's Bible. When we say our father in the Lord, then you will remind yourself you are a son in the Lord and you are a daughter in the Lord. So let's cancel completely biggest daddy. Let's cancel, convener, convener. Yes, I'm convener of GCK when we get to the crusade. But now, we are, are you at the crusade tonight? Where are we tonight? Bible study, the teacher. Now, we come to the very fact that there are people that have perverted dreams. And they pervert the understanding. And they pervert the teaching of the word of God. Look at uh, that Jeremiah chapter 23. I'm reading from verse 21. In verse 21, it says, I have not sent these prophets yet they run. I have not spoken to them yet they prophesy. Look at verse 22 there. In verse 22 but if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their way and from their evil, from the evil of their doings. Look at verse 28. In verse 28 it says, the prophet that has a dream, let him tell a dream. But, and the one, he that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is chaff to the wheat? The dream chaff. The visions of those people chaff. The prophecies of those people chaff. What is chaff to the wheat, says the Lord. In verse 29, in verse 29 it says, it's not my word, like as a fire, says the Lord, and like as a hammer that breaketh the rocks in pieces. I pray God will give us understanding.